and welcome to our first episode of A of Pilates and Friends. Friends, not so much today as I'm joined by my husband, Men Sana, who's going to be our first ever guest on the series of videos. So, Men Sana, if you'd like to tell us a little bit about yourself, um, the kind of training that you do, how often you train, and also why you're here today. Yeah, sure. Um, what can I say? I'm a, I'm a devoted husband. Mm -hmm. I'm my father of two crazy little kids. Yeah. <laughs> um, I live here, mm -hmm. and you won't be into it, that's what I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Um, in regards to training, I train like two, three times a week. Right. And I do boxing, crossfit, um, and different types of martial arts. And I like to lift weights, but I, I feel it's a bit too strenuous in the body, and at work as well. Um, I put my body through a lot of stress, so I just want to find something which is less stressful in okay. my body. Right. Yeah, and that's why I'm here. I just want to go on this before the party because I hear really, really good things. Right, brilliant. So, shall we get you on there and get you started the class? I am ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> so, we're just about to start our first session with Ben uh, Sunner here today. So. First things first is trying to get onto the floor nice and safe. So if you can um, go walk, walk all the way around and sit right on the edge on here for me. Right, right on the edge, brilliant. Normally you have all the springs on to make sure there's enough resistance so as you sit it onto the reformer it doesn't slide around too much. So as you're sat down, just lay onto your side for me, holding onto the shoulder rest, and then the screw will hold you back. Perfect. Lovely, good, nice and comfortable. Right. Yeah, good. So to start off, we're going to warm up um, to the legs. Uh, so if you can, you can each other for your own springs, okay? I might help you out every now and again, but just so you get used to the resistance. So to begin with, if you can just put on for me two reds and one blue. So just to say, for the session today, we've already gone through um, men's other sort of um, issues, any injuries or areas that you want to work on. So this session is obviously tailored to him based on his needs and um, brilliant, that's fine. Okay, so we can get started. What I want you to do is put your heels onto the foot bar for me. Keep your feet about hip distance apart, perfect. Then from here, you're going to take a nice deep breath in and as you breathe out, brace through your core muscles for me and then push the carriage away, pushing onto your heels. Brilliant. And as you inhale, you're going to bring the carriage back in. And again, exhale, you push all the way out, keeping the heels in line with the ankles. That's it. So try not to collapse in too much. Here, I'm having just watching his knees because sometimes it's a tendency to, to flop in with the knees. So just make sure that everything's staying nice and in line as he's doing through the movements. And again, keep going. So exhale to push out, inhale to bring it all back in. So with this, the rate or the speed that each is going to be moving is going to be determined by how fast he's breathing, okay? So the, more, the faster you're breathing, the faster the movements are going to be. So you just work at your own pace with this one. How's that feeling for you? Yeah, yeah good. Okay, two more. And the last one. And both. How's the resistance? Yes, it's good. Is it okay? Yes, it's good. Right. Okay. So this time we're going to be changing position of your feet. So if you can put the balls of your, of your feet onto the bar for me this time. So same thing again, keeping um, there you go, keeping the legs and the ankles in line. So take a deep breath in again, arms alongside the body for me. And as you breathe out, break that core. Then push out again as you exhale. Good, and bring it back in. And again, so try and keep your heels lifted the whole time. Okay. Like you're wearing, wearing, wearing stilettos. Yeah, like I do every Saturday night. Absolutely. It's all coming out now. Keep these things lifted. Keep them lifted. That's really good. And try not to lock your knees when you come out. Keep your legs are nice and straight. Good. Try and make a tiny little micro bend in those knees. Perfect. Keep going. So, in this particular case, there has been an injury onto the right ankle, so there's obviously a tendency to try and roll that, um, that ankle inwards. So I'm going to try and emphasize keeping that heel facing out a little bit more, just to try and counterbalance that rolling in that he does, but again, because of your injury. Tell us a little bit what happened to your ankle. Um, I broke my Achilles tendon. Mm -hmm. 
uh, once I came to school, and I just stretched uh, props. Right. And uh, obviously now, I can't really say that, but um, I strap yeah. up whenever I'm doing something physical. Yeah. And just try and protect it as, as much as I can. Three more. Okay, good. So hopefully all these kind of exercises are going to help to maintain the stability of that ankle, okay? Good. So it's almost like a rehab session as well for any sort of injuries and um, inconsistencies that you've got within the body. That's more than true. That's more than true. Brilliant. Never trust a Pilates instructor with counting, guys. When they say three more, that means about 12 at least, minimum. Right, so we're going to go into our first position. That means heels together, feet apart. That's the easy position, that's it, perfect. So we're going to carry on with the same movement, pushing the weight. So take a deep breath in here, brace through that core, and breathe out, push, and breathe back in. Lovely. And again, keep going. Push it out. Bring it back in. How's that feeling? Yeah, good. Yeah? When you come back in, just hold it there for a second. I'm just going to whack up the, the uh, resistance. So come back in and hold. I'm going to stick another red one in here. This is getting warmer now, so keep going. How's that now? Yeah, yeah. A bit more, yeah? So now it's getting a bit warmer. We can start to um, increase the resistance with the springs. Um, getting a bit more blood flowing to the legs. Although the session today is going to be very focused on upper body, which is what we wanted to work on today. So we're going to be working a lot more with the upper body, chest, arms, shoulders. But we have to warm up the whole body, making sure that the legs are um, getting the flow, getting them working. Good. Give me four more. And back. Good. Three. Is that okay? Lovely. Two more. Squeeze your glutes when you have the top. Last one. Brilliant. And bring it back in. Lovely. So we're going to be doing one-legged supper. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. It's good. Sure? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to be doing some one-legged stuff this time. So we're going to remove the boots. We're going to be having three beds, okay? Again, we'll reassess the um, the resistance. If it's too much, too little, we can always um, change it around, okay? So we're going to have your left foot onto the bar. If you take a deep breath in for me, as you breathe out, brace that core and then lift your right foot up into tabletop position. So 90 degrees at the hip, 90 degrees at the knee. Perfect. Hold it there. So we're going to have the heel onto the bar this time. So we're going to take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, brace that core. You need to push your over that left heel, keeping that leg up at 90 degrees. Good. And come back in. And again. How's that resistance now? Yeah, it's a it's good because obviously we were using the same springs with two legs and now we're more now. Yeah, more brilliant. Legs. Now it's all on the one leg, so it's gonna be loading up that one side a lot more. Good. Okay, good. Next time you're coming out back in, straighten that right leg for me. Straighten that right leg. Good. And as you come back out, you bend it. Lovely, good. And then straighten as you come back. Well, bend it past 90. Yes. So about there. No, 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 sorry. About, to about there. Back to that starting position. Perfect. Back to 90. Perfect. Good. And then straighten it nice and long. And again. Three more. Good. Two more. And the last one. Bring it back. And we're going to swap legs. So the right heel goes into the bar. Just open that up to so make sure your heel is lined up with your sit in front of you. So about there, it's perfect. So take a breath in again, and as you breathe out, break that core. We're going to have that leg to take. But that's it. Same thing again. Breath in on the out breath. We put all the stretch, 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 right stuff again. So we're going to make sure that the core is nice and engaged before we start moving around. Okay. So that's it. so put that right heel down. As you breathe out, press the core into the table. Hold it. Take a deep breath in again. And as you breathe out, break the core, we're going to push off with that right heel. Push, 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 good. And bring it back. So same thing we did when we were doing the both legs. Try not to lock that knee when you straighten that leg out, yeah? Good. And again. Lovely. Where are you feeling the sit side? Okay, that's good. Front, back, sides, everywhere. Quads. Okay. Okay. 
feet more and then we start straightening that rib leg. Right. On the next one, as you bring it back, we want you to straighten that leg out. There. And then as you come back, bring that leg back into tabletop. Good. And straighten. Okay. Karen, how's that feeling? Straighten. Okay, so breathe out as you come out. Breathe out. Breathe in to come back in. Good. And out. How's that feeling? And back in. So you always breathe out on exertion. Sometimes we could play around with the breathing a little bit just so that your body gets used to breathing differently when you do certain exercises as well. How's that feeling for you? Good. Got three more. And two. Last one. Perfect. Good. Are you nice and warmed up now? Yeah. I think you are. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go into, um, we're starting to walk up to the upper body. But with this one, we're going to be incorporating the legs, yeah. the core, as well as the upper body. Okay. So if you can just grab hold of your the oh, shoulder straps. Oh, so no, no, we're still laying down. Okay. Grab the other one for me. So you're going to hold onto the short strap. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to just pull the arm up so they're about shoulder height. Up there. Perfect. How's that resistance? Bit much? Yeah. Okay. So let's just drop that down to two legs. And the flu. <laughs> Is that better? Yes. Okay, perfect. So, I don't know what these legs are doing up here because we have not prepped them yet. So the arms can come up, okay? So I want you to take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, when you brace your core, right leg comes up into the tabletop, hold it there. Take a breath in again, deepen that connection with the core as you breathe out and then the left leg comes up into the tabletop, tabletop. Okay. Right, so we're primed to this position. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, you need to pull those arms down. Good. And back to that starting position. And again. So again, arms are straight, but you're not locking through those elbows. Good. And pulling down. Perfect. And now, good. Keep those legs and hip width apart. Good. How's that feeling? Good. So we're starting, like I said earlier, we're warming up. The core muscles, so having both legs up, it's going to be really taxing on the lower abdominals. Uh, the core is fired up and engaged. All the arms are moving, we're working through the lats, we're working through the shoulders, the upper core muscles as well are working quite hard. Good breathing. In both to come up as you breathe out, you fall down. Lovely. Try and keep your rib cage down onto, onto the carriage for me, that's it. So you're not induce that flaring, which means your lower back is going to be under a bit of compromise if you're arching too much through there. Give me four more. I haven't forgotten about you. <laughs> and three. Two. And the last one. Good. And come back. Drop the feet back onto the bar. We're going to go for a breather. How, how did you find that? Yeah, it was nice. Nice exercise, nice warm up. Okay, a oh, warm up apparently. Yeah. Okay, right. Says the man who asked me to reduce the springs because it was a bit too much. Warm up. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so with this tabletop, do you have to breathe in and out every single time? Yes, yeah, so I like to make sure that you'll know when you're moving the, the legs, which will be coming up to the tabletop, it can be very, very taxing onto your lower abdominal muscles. Yeah. So. The reason why I emphasize on the breathing is to try and protect that area so your back is protected as well. Um, over time, it will become quite natural, so you will need to be cued all the time. But I think if it has been your kind of first session, I want you to be more aware of what your core is doing and be used to engaging your core before you start doing any movements. That is more about awareness, but as you keep going, it will become quite automated. Okay? Right, so we're going to come back to that same position that we were in. So. Um, arms up, about shoulder level. That's it. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, brace that core. The back leg comes up to the top. Brilliant. Breath in again. As you breathe out, brace the core even deeper and then that double leg table top. This time I want you to open your arms out to the side, doing that T shaped crucifix position. Perfect. So take a deep breath in again. As you breathe out, we're going to be putting those arms down towards the hips and then back up to that T shape. And again, as you breathe out, pull the arms down. Good. And back up. Lovely. How's the resistance? Yes. It's good? Yes. 
So they're going to be firing up at the same time, which is actually going to make your core contract or engage a bit deeper. Okay? So just to make it a little bit more intense, okay? You can drop down the resistance if you wanted to. Can you see how we yep, get on there? So what we'll do here, we'll just stick this in between just above the knee. Okay. Is that in the right position? Sometimes it's easy for you to, to kind of do it right. yourself. Yeah. It's amazing. Cool, so same thing we did at the beginning. Yeah. You're gonna take a deep breath in, yeah. and then as you breathe out, arms come up into that shoulder, onto the shoulder, the shoulder level. So pull the arms, pull yeah. the arms. Oh, that's such a there we go, good, come on. <laughs> you just had a brain fart. So. Wakey, wakey. Right, so you're gonna take a deep breath in, but this time I want you to really engage with your core muscles yeah. as you breathe out, and you're gonna lift both legs up together at the same time. Perfect, good. And have a little bit of a squeeze through that circle. Okay, you're going to take a deep breath in here. And then as you breathe out, we just pull the arms down again, as we did in the beginning. So slightly open your arms up a little bit more this time because your legs are wide up. So we're going to make space because of that circle. Good. Squeeze that circle in a little bit more as well. Good. And back to the starting position. Pull the arms down. Squeeze that circle. Lovely. Pin those rib cage down. Lovely, good. So you're not flaring through those ribs. Pull down. Lovely, keep going. Pull, 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 pull. Squeeze that circle. Good, brace that core. Rib cage is flaring ever so slightly, just pull this down a little bit. That's it. Oh, we're shaking, folks, we're shaking. Right in here. Good, give me four more. He's not talking now, I better not ask any questions. And three. <laughs> Good, two more. Squeeze that circle, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then the last one. Squeeze, 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 hold, hold it there. Five, four, squeeze the circle. Three, two, one and a half, one. That was really mean. And bring it back. Lovely. How did you find that? Was that okay? Massive challenge at the end? It's burning. It's burning. Where, where is it burning? It's up, it's burning. Yep, so inner thighs. Inner yep. Thighs, yeah. Into the core. Shoulders okay? Shoulders okay. Okay, yeah. brilliant. Okay, so we're going to jump up into a sitting position. Good. So you're going to sit facing that way still, so facing the breeze. Okay, so we're going to be doing a, little, a lot more work now into the F1, into the chest, shoulders. That particular area. So if you can grab a hold of the um, straps for me. Just hold on to the uh, oh, short strap. Oh, 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 yes, so yeah, so shuffle back yeah. a little bit. Yep. Yeah. So you're nice and comfortable. And with this one, I want you to really emphasize on keeping your back nice and straight. So try not to lean, especially as you start to get into the exercise. You might find you want to lean more forwards or back, but try and keep an awareness of your chest. Mm -hmm. Keep everything nice and straight um, through the spine there. Okay, so. Then lift your arms up to about 90 degrees at the elbows. How's that resistance? <laughs> Let's drop it down. Let's drop it down. It's not about time. We can always bike it up again if we need it to, can't we? Yes. Right, is that a little bit better? Yes. Okay, so we're starting that position, take a deep breath in. And as you feel that break the cord, we're going to push your head down forward, straight in through the arms and back. 
Good, so not too far back, you can come back here. So push, 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 go back there, then push out. Now we stop back there, that's it, and push out. Always, and stop all the way back. Right, so sometimes it's actually better to stop sort of mid contraction because you get a lot more out of the muscles in the mid, a bit more of a burn, a deeper burn for sure. Keep that right elbow slightly elevated for me, that's better. So going too far back again. Back there, perfect, good. How's that feeling? You okay? Resistance okay? Yeah. <laughs> good. Lovely, looking good in this direction as well. Shoulders nice and level, nice and high, good. Keep going. So breathe out as you're pushing out, just like that, that's it. Breathe, push. Breathe, smile a little bit, come on. <laughs> good, so nice straight spine through here, give me four more. And three, good. Two. Last one, we're going to hold it back, hold it, hold it, hold it back. Four nice and straight. Three, 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 two, one, and release. Good. How did you find that one? Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, feeling in the shoulders. Yeah. Give, yourself, give yourself some shoulder ones, three shoulder ones going back for me. Straightening, stretching up through there. This time is quite similar, but we're going to be focusing more on the upper part of your deltoid. So we're going to be having, so if you imagine having a diamond shape with your hands like so, yeah. hands go onto the forward to begin with, so you can go straight to the position if you like. Yeah. yeah. So this one's called the salute. So from here, take a deep breath and straighten up through that spine again for me. And as you breathe out, we're going to be pushing out and then back in. Good. Pushing out, back in. Good. Yeah, so chest, you're working into the upper part of your deltoids, the top of your shoulders, yeah? And back. Push out. And back. Good. How's that feeling? Yeah. Okay, you might feel it in the triceps a little bit as well. Yeah, Good. Keep going. Slow down the movement. It's not too much about how fast you can do it, so control that movement. Give me five more. Straight it up to the spine and four. Good. Three. Good. Two. Lovely. Last one. And bring it back. Release those arms back down for me. Right, how did you find that one? Burning. Yeah? Burning. Everything's burning. Okay. So I'm going to be about it. still burning. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So as that was the burden from, from, from a couple of exercises back. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go into some bicep curls. So yeah. where are all the straps again for me? I didn't realise this was such a an amazing machine. Yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? You can do so much with it. Yeah. So if I, if you can just hold on to the inner part of that um, okay. there we go. That's yeah, it. That yep, good. that's it. Okay, start with the elbows tucked into the waist. You're bending through the elbows for me. You're going to take a nice deep breath in, and as you breathe out, you're going to come into a bicep curl. And then release. And curl it. And release. Good. And then curl. And release. How's that feeling? Yeah. Curl, really straighten up from here for me. Perfect. Curl. Release. What, with the, with the springs? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Bring it back then. Go for two reps and then move. The man what he's asking for. <laughs> you might be sorry he's asked for it, by the way, but there we go. Okay. So keep those elbows tucked in. But straight away, I'm going to bring you back because straight away, as soon as you wax it up. Actually, no, I'm going to do one over on blue because as soon as I wax up the, um, the springs, your form went to pop. Okay. Yeah, so rather than keeping your elbows nice and tucked in, you started flaring out, which meant you were actually not doing the exercise properly. So, again, this is what happens. People think, oh, I'm strong, I can do this. It's not about strength, it's about form. So, if you do it properly, then you're going to be so efficient in doing the exercise. Okay? And you'll, you'll still build strength, right? Absolutely, yes. And you might find after a few goes, few weeks maybe, you might then be able to do it with a higher weight and that's absolutely fine. So keep those elbows into the waist for me. 
and so that, that's better, a lot better. Good. Give you five more. That's four. <laughs> Don't slap yourself. Three. Good. Two. And last one. There. So keep it elbows nice and bent here for me. So what I want you to do is take a deep breath in. Yeah. As you exhale, I want you to lift your arms forward to bring them forward. Come out to the side, open out to the side. Back in front, and then tuck those elbows in again. So we're coming out, opening, back in front, and then there. Good. Opening. So on your glove, you drop the weight back down, don't you? Yeah. And back in. Make sure your elbows don't come too far back. And then back in, back there. That's it. Out. Open. Back in front. But there, better, a lot better. Open. Same with the fly as well. Don't open up too much of the fly. Out. Open. Good. Out. And then four more. Out. Open. Out. Back in. Three. Oh, jeez. Two more. Good. And the last one. Out. Open any there. Out and back in. Brilliant. How was that? Is that okay? So where are you feeling that one? Pretty much everywhere. Yeah, give me a nice little stretch actually whilst we're here. Stretch through the front for me. Yeah. Okay, just hold it there for a second. Good. And then over to the other side. Good. Okay, give me some shoulder rolls, three shoulder rolls here. Perfect. This time we're going to be facing the back, or we're going to be facing the police. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Right, so, grab a roll of the straps again. Yeah. If you can just shuffle your knees forward towards that um, shoulder, the shoulder rest. Yeah. So just standing up nice and, um, or kneeling up rather, nice and long. Again, Keep the emphasis of your back nice and um, long, so try not to lean, because again with this exercise there's going to be a tendency to want to lean forward and backwards. Mm -hmm. So starting off, bring your arms just by your hips, and take it straight away, you did exactly what everyone else does. Then from here, so that's your starting position, you're going to take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, break that forward and pulling those arms back, and bring it back. And again, how's that feeling? It's okay? Triceps? Okay. And back in. Pull it back. And bring it back in. Right. Keep going. Back in. A little bit of shaking. Three more. Two. Lovely. Last one. Bring it back. This time, stay where you are. In the arms, shuffle your knees slightly further back, just so you've got a bit more range. Well, if you want to go that far back, that's fine too. Okay. Yep, so same thing here, take a deep breath in, as you breathe out, we're going to start off here, and then you're going to bring those arms back. There we go. Now we're talking, and back, just five here. Four, good. Oh, three, shakes galore. Two, oh yes, last one. Back and bring it back in. Lovely, well done. That was horrible. It's not a nice one, that one. It's, it's not a nice one at all. <laughs> okay, so this time we're going to just still work into the shoulders again. We're going to be coming to a row to begin with. Yep, so nice and long. Just take a breath in, just be able to bend through those elbows and bring. That's it. And straight it back out. And again, so keep your arms, your elbows close to the body. That's it. So be nice and narrow. It's a narrow row, that's better. Back, 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 good. How's that feeling? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. You're breathing a little bit better now. <laughs> How's that feeling for you? All good? Right. You can do a bit more resistance? Yes. I think so. Right, just 
just hold it in for a second. And I'll give you two red and one blue. Just go for it. And we're going again. Just break that forward and bring those elbows back. Keep those elbows close to the waist for me. Better. A lot better. Good. Better. Go, we've got four more. Three, hinge right in here. Two, squeeze into those shoulder blades. Squeeze, 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 last one. Good, so last exercise now. We're gonna come into a row, okay? Yeah. Right, so we just come up, face, uh, palms facing the ceiling. Up nice and upright, right, shoulders back, yeah. down away from your ears. Take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, we need to Pull those arms back into a row and then all the way back out. And again, no rowing. And back out. Good. How's that feeling? Yeah. Don't worry if it feels light at the moment because we're going to um, combine with another movement at the end. Okay? It does feel light, yeah. I know, I can see that you're really putting it with, with great ease, but give me three more of those. Yeah. And then we'll progress it to the next one, too. Lovely. And the last one. So next time, yeah. we're going to pull in. Yeah. When you release, I want you to come up into a chest like one okay. and back. Okay, so take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, break that core. Come into your row and come out of it. And then open the arms nice and wide. And back. Yeah. Resistance is okay now, yeah? Good. And open. Lovely. Back. Keep going. So again, being mindful of that chest not collapsing in, not leaning too far forward to all back. Whoa, lovely. Resistance okay? I feel like I do like a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, I'll put an extra yellow one on there. Okay. Keep going. So into your row again. And into your Good. Keep those shoulders nice and high for me to do that. Programs are nice, beautiful. Keep going.